Welcome to the Edupedia World, Virtual World Free Education. My name is Suraya Sayed, Microsoft Certified Trainer. When working in Excel worksheet, you may need to insert or delete cells without inserting or deleting entire rows or columns. You can insert blank cells above or to the left of the selected cells on the worksheet. To insert cells, right click the cell above which you wish to insert a new one or right click the cell to the left of which you wish to insert a new one. The insertion dialog box opens and presents the following four choices. Shift cells right or shift cells down. Also you can insert an entire row if you choose entire row the third choice or to insert an entire column if you choose the fourth choice. For example, if you wish to add a new cell between A3 and A4, then click A4, right click and choose insert from the shortcut menu. The dialog box appears and choose to shift cells down. Here is the new cell and Excel pushes uh, cells from A5 to A16. Undo and now we are going to insert cells from A4 to E4. Selecting the range from A4 to E4 then right click and choose insert five new blank cells are added and Excel shift cells down you can have the same results if you choose to insert entire row because there are no other data in this workbook so nothing will be affected you can shift cells to the right click cell e5 right click choose insert now we will shift cell to the right a blank cell is inserted instead of e5 it's a blank and e5 is shifted to f5 we can also insert cells from the ribbon on the home tab from the insert button choose insert cells commands the dialog box will appear again you can undo this process immediately by the undo command from the ribbon or you can use the delete command whenever you want. When deleting cells, the opposite procedure is occurs. A cell to the right of the deleted one will be moved to the left when you choose to shift cells left and a cell below the deleted one will be moved up if you choose to shift cells up and here is the dialog box that will be opened when you deleting cells asking you to choose one of these four choices Excel can perform two kinds of cell deletion to clearing cell data or deleting the cell when clearing cell data you press 
the delete key from the keyboard it clears only the content of the cell but when you delete a cell Excel has to shuffle the position of entries in the surrounding cells to plug up any gaps caused by the deletion in the shown example you have extra data written in column E so you will revise your data and check which one need to be deleted then you will delete the cell and you want to shift the cells up but now in this example you have an extra data written horizontally then you check your data and you find the unwanted cell then right click it and delete but now you will want to shift cells to the left now it is correct sometimes you need not to delete only the cell but also to delete its corresponding data so when deleting the cell you check entire row to delete the data and its entire row the same idea when deleting a cell and you don't need its column also click delete and delete also the entire column now data is shifted to the left thank you for watching edupedia world videos see you at the next video